Hello and welcome back to another episode of Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're doing another 50 person uh, big fat mission. God Chalice, uh, or God Chalice is upon us. New India needs to be liberated and that's going to be a, one of my favorite missions. So I can already foreshadow that this is going to be a great mission mainly because number one, the Grey Knights are going to go in. So uh, Primark Hogbite is going to take all of the uh, Grey Knights and deploy them. That in itself is awesome and gets me very, very excited. Number two, this has a strategic importance because the moment that we free this area, not only have we killed a Strength 10 Vigilance 24 area, uh, but we have also uh, paved the way to make contact in West Asia, Eastern Europe and East Africa, which will be paramount for our further conquering of the world. So that's really, really good. I personally like it and we're going to go do it. Let's launch the mission and get going. Menace 1-5, infiltrate and investigate the area. Expect heavy resistance. Neutralize all hostile contacts. Okay, we landed at the very edge of the map. There is street, and where there is street, there is typically a place for us to take high ground. And where there is high ground, uh, that's typically where Saiken is at. I am a sucker for high ground, and I do not apologize for it. Double time. High ground, best invention. Good to go. Time to motor. All right, Sane moves up. Time to motor. Our Reaper moves up, who, matter of fact, around. could be the one that is actually scouting for us. Toxic with a nice little dampening field. Let's do this. And game time, our sniper. We this time only brought one sniper. Which on these types of missions might be a little bit short, but we we still got um, a Reaper who effectively can move in and then with serial clean up quite a bit. Okay, we can definitely see that there are a lot of enemies, elsewise the enemy turn wouldn't take that long. I go where I'm needed. Got a bit of an overview, I like that. Hogbite can move over to here. All right, like the public, bravo. Beat, beat. Sets up there. Copy that. Sonar. Getting it done. Moves up there. there. Same with the serial option. Toxic. Getting it done. Rolling out. And we're getting the high ground just like I wanted. Tension is real. We don't want to rush too far into the enemies. That's a nice pack to uh, to start uh, with when Hogbite would rush into them. But I think Bladestorm does no longer trigger uh, when you are in concealment. Orders confirmed. On the move. I will read the 
position. Okay, so Sane moves up there. Toxic helps over here. Game time our sniper. Carefully positions, I think, over here. Double time. Got it. Sona goes more to the front line. And this is Mike. Plenty of positions where I could place him. But I think we're okay where we are. Roger that. The turrets alone are not worth breaking our concealment, so that other pack, that would be a reason to break the concealment. Hawkbite is going to scout for us, because he will also be the one rushing in when we're finding a new pack. Okay, over here, a couple of drones, maybe. I'm just waiting for the first pack to come a bit closer so that we can actually start getting it down. The path is clear. Nothing, okay. I don't want to be caught out of position and this here is a nice corner spot and that's a perfect pack for what we're trying to do. course it does not uh, come by its uh, by themselves it comes with a lot of baggage and I am wondering do we have kill zone no. still need to get that as well Good, that will help us to flop an incendiary grenade and basically pull these guys with crowd control. Come closer, come closer and we're going to get both of the packs. I feel comfortable doing that. Unfortunately the rainbow pack moves away. I am wondering if these guys would trigger Bladestorm. I think the answer is no, but we're going to find out in a second. Alright, we've been spotted.
Yeah, is that triggering? No, you can no longer uh, blade storm pull. Rip. It was good while it lasted. Rush, exactly what we wanted. Have you gonna explodes? <laughs> All right, insanity. Let's get that scout. I don't want to mind control him, just panic him. Very good. And we can we can use it whenever uh, his soul fire to finish whoever is left. Let's get the Nacha. No. Still no. And come on. One Gracing hit. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. Six, seven, oh, that's a kill. Good, nice little cleanup. And we know that these guys have definitely heard something. for one here so when I get an aid protocol just in case overwatching, overwatching and That's we're great. shifting to over here Toxic begins to just hit uh, the scout over there. Might as well deal damage. That rainbow pack will be coming in.
Purifier. Unfortunately, not a kill. Controlling these two with fire. Gotta be careful. I need to save a few more grenades, but these rainbow packs typically are great for just uh, crowd control. Stun strike, advent officer. Yes, please. No hit, okay. Let's get the shield bearer. That's one down. Enemy is still up. No bueno. Good, we're getting Death from Above with a free reload. Uh, this priest nice hit come on unfortunate Could have also just Overwatch, to be fair. One of them is not controlled, the rest, all of the others are controlled at this point. That's another patrol, carefully, careful there. Have overwatched here so that the overwatch would have taken the priest out. Problem is, as always, the priests are 
absolutely annoying. Good. New team is incoming. Some of them have positioned themselves right next to explosives. Is that correct? <laughs> okay. Time for a bit of a cleanup. Let's clear the middle of uh, the field here. Edwin officer needs to die. Such a high amount of hit points. Can't let that uh, fly. Okay, let's kill this guy, even if we deal minimum damage, the burning that he has on him should kill him. But we're not dealing minimum damage, we're just cracking on. Let's try to get the Advent Scout. Good hit. Grazing though. There you go. Yeah. He was burning so a very high chance for him to die anyways. That'll kill one guy, the other should be heavily injured. Do we have ammunition available? That's some meager damage, my dude. Hogbite, what is wrong with you? Come on, blade storm kill. That's my man. Down to one hit point. He's dealing good damage as and when he hits. And he's tanking like a monster. So the whole tanking thing they did well. Damage I think could have been a bit better. And I know in Long War 1.1 that they are already looking into that uh, topic, making the Templar a little bit more offensive viable. The forces of Advent move. needs to go down. Okay, fantastic. You can't handle me. I'm going. Okay, not quite. You can't handle me. Uh, 
For the target, uh, the Lancer, we also need to get rid of that turret, which we can do soon. I want three out of three focus because I want to test apathesis. Let's just reload and try to get this guy down. Okay. We're moving down. And Mike is basically moving to there. Oh, but just moves out of uh, line of sight. Could have also hidden here, I suppose. Okay, tower needs to die next. Okay, let's get that turret down. Really like to test out hypothesis. Good. Since we're getting two back after striking the turret, we should be fine. But the thing has three armor, so it's a lot of damage, uh, a lot of protection. Uh, seven points of damage. It's okay. But I think the defensive values are the ones that matter a little bit more. Problem solved. Now we want high ground. Argon Uber could move up here. Um, let's get both of our gunners up there. And we're reloading. Okay, so Overwatch, Overwatch, and let's come and collectively regroup. Um, okay, well, that's the opposite of calm and collective regrouping. Let's just enemy rushes in, disregards what we were doing. That's a lot of enemies. Good. The Berserkers need to die. I think there is a wide consensus about that. Followed, of course, by none other than the Chrysalid, who, again, we can very much agree that uh, they need to die as well. Okay, we're using death from above to 
to get one extra shot that we elsewise wouldn't get. Chrysalid needs to die. Not great. Let's remove cover, if possible. Whoa, that was a fantastic grenade. in with Hogbite and kill these guys but I just reconsidered my life choices. Yeah, okay, good. Well, at least uh, we do have that available now. Insanity the for the Berserker. Sona and another airdrop to Sonar. Should have done that at, uh, relatively at the beginning of the mission. It's not not a huge loss now, but could have been dealt with more efficiently. going to stun him yeah okay problem solved we did have um, we did have more crowd control available if needed but since that solves the problem might as well just fire our weapon and teach the berserker a valuable lesson Telling him that he just can't uh, go around shouting at everybody. There will be the one person, the wrong guy that he meets. Okay, well, the speaking about the wrong guy, we just, I think, met the wrong guy. Completely, a completely dedicated movement to where we were hiding. That's XCOM's way of telling you you've done too well. We need to do a little bit of a cheat Reno. Not a lot, but just a little bit so that um, you will get humbled. enough away from an explosion to 
good enough to uh, to kill someone. Okay, cool. Listen. This will deal explosion damage, explosion damage, explosion damage, and this will also explode. So there's going to be a lot of explosions. Very nice. Let's put it this way, the Sidewinder does not approve that we've just killed everyone. You can't handle me. That was unfortunately the wrong Order. That was unfortunately the wrong order. Ready to go. Let's hand over teamwork and we'll get that purifier. here so that we got a nice little angle guardian dies that should give us a movement I need more ammo. I'm trusting you here Taking one of those specters out. Nice little crowd control. And the other specter hopefully gets a decent amount of damage. Nope. Get it together. it starts to move forward okay <laughs> move up overwatch although that does not matter that much and we're just going to a tank here not the greatest usage of hawkboy but I am afraid that there might be another pack them in an okay spot. Two specters. That might be another new pack. Gotta be careful but at the same time not too careful. This might trigger another pack. No. This guy is just wrongly positioned apparently yeah not good enough for a proper cover removal Oh, 
This might trigger another pack. Okay, comparably speaking, it could have been much worse. Right in the middle of the fray, love it, absolutely great. Gets the A protocol, and we're going to take over the surveillance drone, aren't we? Eh? Let's give me that. Mike, the absolute hacking monster Bravo, gets the surveillance drone. Gives us a nice little stunner and another Mimic Beacon. Oh yeah. Listen, I know how we're going to deal with him. Cyclic fire and he's not even going to know where it was coming from Invert for the win good job Open up line of sight What's over there? The tissue melts away. Let's deal some damage to the specter. Okay. Good. Steal some more damage to the Spectre. Oh, come on. Sniper is not... It's not her day today. It really isn't. I hope it's worth it. Good, moving up. And let's try to hit at least one of those shots. Okay, that was good. That was very good. And we're doing one for all, which will easily let us tank the little damage from left and right. soldier some time to heal mentally and physically <laughs> tries to stun the other drone no it worked oh my lord oh you little prick you did it hunt the drone stun And I was laughing. I was like, yeah, sure. Sure, bro. Do your little stun shenanigans. Okay, of course. Hmm. A 
Let's do mind merge here. Because why not? I'll go over here next and that'll give us a great position. Okay, listen, we're going to do this here. We're furthermore going to do a little bit of that. Then... Hogbart gets the promise that he's going to be alright. Whether or not that is true is a different story. But he does have a lot of uh, stun options and he's going to use them. There you go. You, my friend, are not going to be alright. Overwatch. XCOM physics at its finest. Oh, okay. Uh, there is a little bit of cover left. I see. Um... Try to move up next turn, crowd control, someone. On it. For now, let's just position ourselves there. Overwatch. And overwatch. Got a hack drone over here, which they hopefully will use as the main target. Besides Hogbite, of course. Bladestorm, Bladestorm. Where's the Bladestorm? Oh, Bladestorm, ah, because of suppression. Now I get it. Okay, that's that's actually smart. Insert um, DJ Khaled meme. You smart. I'm definitely looking at too many memes. Good. Look, why not? It is a good option to just take this guy out for a turn. The problem that I'm seeing is uh, we again have there's some sort of bug where you cannot get out of your own out of your own cover and it's a bit annoying plus hilarious at the same time Hogbite is immune to explosions, so this should not be a problem.
Let's kill this guy. He still can't move. I hate to do it, but that is clearly a, bu a bug. So we're getting our focus back. Back to good old three focus. there next uh, we could interrupt with combat protocol not great but not per, uh, totally bad either The other option is to simply use this as an interruption. Okay. I can only blame myself. And the one percent shot did not happen. Come get them. In which case, a protocol, ah, uh, maybe not needed yet. Suppression down, and I would like to hit the mutant. Nope. Try again. 50 50. Oh, that's okay. Really? How? When he's burning. I am not 100% convinced that that should have happened the way it just happened. Sniper moves up, surveillance drone moves up and needs to get killed. What's over there? We're taking decent high ground. Overwatch. 
Okay. I think we still have two or three more packs and we've used a lot of our cooldown, so gotta be careful now. All right, back <clears throat> for you. Only a few minutes or seconds passed. For me, it was an entire day. I can't play those long engagements anymore in just one sitting. Two hours is just a bit too much for my time schedule. So we're going to reload, get our posture back, overwatch wherever possible. Apostavus uh, can happen next turn. Already looking forward for that. In the meantime, how about... Uh, we don't have any grenades anymore, so might as well just stay here. Good. Fully and freshly reloaded with everyone. Okay, cool. Very good. So, if I had to take a wild guess, I would say there are at least two to three more packs left over, maybe more. And we're going to find out uh, who they are and where they are. Good, I can tell you they are not here. <laughs> I found that out already. So uh, let's advance a bit. Good, we're moving to here. Roger that. Unfortunately, this uh, tower is gone as well. So as you can see, we're now moving to the front line. And uh, sonar uh, needs to be at the front line as well because Rolling realistically, out. what are we going to do with him in the back line? Ah, sorry, that's a great example of real life obligations coming in clutch, right? When you think everything's good, something's happening. Anyway, sniper <coughs> will move on that other rooftop and I think we're just trying to not be caught out for once. Dangerous position that we find ourselves in, don't have the sniper support at the moment. In typical XCOM fashion I would assume that an enemy pack runs in just because they can. But for once apparently we're okay. Good look, Scythe uh, will unfortunately lose her concealment, beginning of next round. We know a turret is uh, there, fair enough. My life is in your hands. I'll just wait until the shadow cooldown is back up. My watch begins. And then we'll take it from there. Good, two rounds of just overwatching. <clears throat> we can get that turret. But maybe we're just going to kill a group of stragglers. Mutant Cox is gone. And there we go. We're very much in a flanked and exposed position. All right, interference, by the way, is super good skill. Really like it. Now we're going to take this guy here. Well, that's a free kill. 
Very nice. Death from above and reposition. Ooh, almost, almost got a second one. Oh wait, that was just lightning hands, wasn't it? There we go. Pistols for the win. I think I do have an idea. Let's invert the mutant. Single shot and placable. Alright, getting the sergeant will be the last task. Come on, Moves up. It's a bit more rapid fire. There we go. Don't tell me that we need to crowd control this guy. <clears throat> My sights are off. Should have done that way before. Okay, that would have killed him right away. Well, we're not going to take any more chances here. Toxic is finishing him, and we're good. I, I definitely got that one. Got it. All right, Hogbite moves back to the pack. Cover. Moving into cover, and I think it's just a reloading round, and next round we're going to give it a go. Reload, 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 reload. Okay, so Shadow is ready, hence we're going to send out the Hunter, <clears throat> as she calls herself. There is a turret, but we can't really see it, I think. For us, it would be fair to start moving a little bit closer. All right, I'll go. Copy that. We, we could take a one of these high grounds. Got it. It's again one of those transition times.
Roger that. Yeah, I don't want Hogbite to be even hit, so it's great that he can see the turret, but he's out of position where he's currently standing. So, no dice for that. Okay, we're effectively in the last turn before the concealment will break. So let's see if we could hack the turret. Nah, not close enough. That's unfortunate. Given that we can't hack it, might as well just destroy it. up and can move on top here luckily advent can't explode targets elsewise this would be a really bad position right next to the explosive tanks but I am trying to get us on top here find a good position where everybody has kind of a meaning meaningful overwatch if someone runs into us one more round right yep one more round and then we can give it a go from our sniper so that she has better chances of hitting there's at least one more uh, pack uh, the captains or the commander's pack but there might be just more This is a huge complex. It is clear. Tired of waiting around. I I'm trusting you here. I'm on it. Okay, we're really just trying to move into a good position. Maintaining this area. <coughs> and I'll hope that I can uh, find that pack before it finds us as you order commander they have a patrol moving here there we go finally that's a huge pack okay if we know that they are there 
let's leave them for a second. At the same time, let's try to take the turret. Okay, that's a little bit of fire support. Now a smoke grenade would be fabulous. on all fronts might pull this pack down here not sure turret <clears throat> who shoots first will be the successful turret all right that should not trigger anything but we're much closer and that's helpful These guys are still moving down there. I was sort of hoping they would come up, but they are not. means we're getting a little bit closer to them. Sniper needs a bit of a better position for this engagement. I think up here is better, but that would not be alone. We could position them here and shoot through the windows. The question is, where do those guys show up? And if the fight happens downstairs here, it's not really a great one. up here my trigger I don't want to risk that I'll keep it under watch. third is almost gone And we're going to do shadow next round. For now, getting rid of the turret.
All right, we just triggered. Well, wow, that's a little bit loud, even for my standards. So here's the here's the deal. Um, I need to replay parts of uh, that mission. Game crashed to desktop, and I need to do the re uh, redo the last fight. And I played it as close as possible to. Uh, well, we need to fix the sound. Played it as close as possible to how we originally had been positioned. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, just as I was ending turn, Advent was running right into us. Good. So let's assess the situation because that, of course, did not go according to plan. Nonetheless, we would want to clear up as much as possible. Um, the one thing that the Reaper will do is use a frost bomb and take the, uh, take out the generals. So that's one given move that I would like to do. Secondly, oh wow, position <laughs> yourself really badly, really poorly, dude. I don't know. Maybe one, we don't need to uh, uh, to even take him out. Let's first sergeant. Ah, no, no, no. The boss is here. The first sergeant is just someone who positioned himself really, really poorly. We could do a serial play, which is not a bad idea. Let's take a good look. So, those who are difficult to reach, like the gunner. Does stasis work on the general? Okay, if that works, then yeah. Not even needing the reaper. Homeboy is going to take a chill pill and Let's drive the gunner insane. That means we're just using crowd control for this round. The less we need to deal with anyone, the better. He's panicked, so two are already out. Okay, cool. Sniper is playing a bit of a support role this time. Because we can put some cereal in. Seven, two, four, six, seven. All right, this 100% kill. I'm going to do something else. Just need one more damage on the drone below. Ah, that's plenty. Position ourselves uh, right over here. That'll just require us to deal with uh, the Overwatch. Hypothesis. Uh, you know, by thinking about it. This here would still be a flanking position. Unfortunately, one with a little bit of aim penalty. Wow, good hit. Lovely hit. Just 
Kill him. I think taking out that other gunner and co uh, crowd controlling him will be beneficial. Hypothesis is kicking in fully, Hogbite, an overdrive, and the first thing that he does is he misses. Don't like where this is going. It sets a precedent that I do not like at all. Put some cover right there. And then get ready to tank this guy. Moving in for aiming angles and hopefully I'm going to hit him nicely. Okay, that's good. That's very good. Still got serial uh, running and even with a raising shot, he's down. Reload and we have the pack fully under control. Good. We now need to deal with um, Senor Super General. And first things is we need to shred him. Come on. Yep. That's good. That's very good. That is not so good. Fuse explosion. For some further shredding. There we go. We're down to one hit, po uh, one armor. Let's do this. Moving up in the open and hold a target him because we want to make sure he is being hit. I think every miss gives him an armor and that in itself is a problem. Good hit. Not a good hit. Six percent chance for insanity. I much rather would have wanted to give uh, critical hit chance to someone. I know we can't insanity someone twice, but I do have an action left over. Might as well use it. There was a small chance for a mind control. Just out of here. Void content works on him? All right, yeah, GG. Amplify. into getting this guy down. Whoa. 
okay, when uh, Hogbite has Apathesis, things are not cool for the enemy. Void Conduit, very nice. We need to kill the other uh, the other gunner here. Okay, and since he has... Okay, well, that already uh, counts as killing him. <laughs> because he's quote-unquote mind-controlled or out of actions. Void Conduit. Best ability ever. Really, really good ability. And he didn't even get a saving throw or anything. It was It just happened. Nice. Very good. Um, look, we have plenty of options here. We're going to go with Combat Fitness, but I'll do Traverse Fire. We're certainly getting Kill Zone as well. That's great. Uncle Nuber. I like Kill Zone. I like Rupture. I like Combat Fitness. All of them are good. We're going to start with. Um, Combat Fitness mainly because it gives uh, stats, uh, really, really good stats, and I'll think about what else we need. Scythe uh, got a promotion, and throwing an axe uh, gets a bonus action, uh, throwing, a, <laughs> throwing a knife, unfortunately not an axe, um, and uh, Impersonal Edge, that would be good as well. How do we get extra weapons? Throwing knives. Each kill with a primary weapon gets a knife charge. Okay, that's good. Because then what we can do is knives reduce shadow and <clears throat> kills with a weapon increases knives again. And that uh, starts can't trigger in the same turn as cheap uh, shot, which is fine. Uh, they are mutually exclusive, but they're still good. Banish is great as well. But the reduction in aim makes it less great. We're going to start with um, that. Bonus actions are helpful. And then we're going to go into Knife Juggler and so on. So good, very good. Toxic got a promotion, which is fantastic. And Game Time, who just happens to tag along, got a promotion as well. I think we're going to go for Aggression. I really like Dead Eye as well, but the Aggression thing is passive, and Dead Eye has a relatively high cooldown with three turns. Um, and I noticed that the crit chance is very good. And crit chance includes this time uh, enemies in squad side. So there are quite a few enem uh, enemies uh, there. I am still torn between both. I think both are really, it's a very uh, close uh, tie, but since sniper rifles tend to have so much bonus damage when they crit, it uh, starts to become very, very, very good. Um, we already got that. Couple more pistol shots. Once for mission, uh, mission cannot miss. Mm -hmm. No longer have range penalties, that's not bad either. That is fun. I think I should um, skill gunslinger on a couple of um, on a couple of uh, soldiers a bit more, but the clutch shot might be helpful and the. Uh, elimination of range penalties is definitely helpful for snipers. Just getting a couple of those uh, skills. And look at that. Super, super good. Such a lovely grand loot that we're getting. We're rich on supplies. Generally, we're just uh, doing very well for ourselves. 
And now the fun part starts because because um, oh we're getting well, we're getting a lot of scans. We can theoretically make contact here, right? So for just a meager amount of intel, got contact here and here. So we could make three contacts. Avenger. Let's first of all start with uh, these uh, the overworld scanning because that is going to be helpful. Oh, that would be nice. Uh, getting another scientist, but three hours isn't going to do anything. Rookie is available, and New Chile has um, a new uh, member that is going to join us in the recruitment efforts. Like it. And our new recruit, our rookie, is a decent average guy all, uh, all along. Uh, sounds like someone who we can train just in terms of uh, soldiers I think we had received a couple of rooks lately good I'll I'll see this here is going to be a sniper I don't know what we need here maybe another technician or grenadier Fantastic, and I, by the way, found something out, uh, I know, late in the process, but I found something out about the Psy training. So the rank determines, uh, mm, if you're learning an ability, the rank determines uh, mm, how long the ability training uh, will take until, uh, mm, until, until you're basically done with training, which is a clever uh, th uh, thing. So the higher you are in rank, the quicker you can learn all of the abilities and if you want to um, go for an ability that is higher level you essentially need to learn longer just like with the domination training um, that just took or takes a very long time um, and that incentivizes that you can either have a lot of smaller abilities or like one of the big hitting abilities so to speak 15 hours before we must launch, that's okay. Got a supply rate there. And we got one more training to go. Bastion is fine. The thing is, I want to make sure that we're, uh, that we're always utilizing our training. So it's a bit of a trade-off. Um, of course, we want the bigger abilities, but I also want all of the Psionic characters to be able to train. We do have, we're almost out of new training. So in other words, they need to go back onto missions before they can train again, which is why I picked a longer lasting one that the soul stealing, for instance, will go fast. And the way that I would go about it is um, I want to kind of find a healthy medium where we're getting where we're getting the abilities trained and have at any time two people in here but also send them on missions because if you look at uh, the psi operatives uh, you will see none of them at the moment are where do we have them there we go none of the mom uh, none of them at the moment do have the little symbol that allows them to train further uh, in other words, all of them need to go on to a mission. Okay, um, so. Missions, that's what we need. And there we go. Start liberating uh, the area. That's a perfect mission. South Africa. That is a perfect mission. Commander, you should be aware. We're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. Seems to me like a mission where a new squad could uh, start to learn a little bit. Five days. 
Well, if we do have that many people, we would fight against 15, 2, 4, 5, 6. Mm. Not optimal, but we're getting a lot of um, a lot of promotions out of it. So, yeah, let me equip everybody. Okay, equipped all of them, and we're ready to go. In position for deployment. There is a new target. One day. <clears throat> Recover items. Find enemy flight path. Hmm. That's interesting. Question is, can we even do anything with that low amount? So we would fight against 30 enemies even with a boost. Not happening. Avenger plotting new it's a bit of a, along the lines, too little too late. Good. And that'll give us new resistance personnel and I think even a rookie, yeah. Okay. Uh, perfect. That's good. We're going to do exactly that. But it'll happen in the next episode. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Really, truly appreciate your viewership. And if you enjoy Long War of the Chosen, leave a comment and a like down below and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.